Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. And how are y'all doing today? And welcome back to the channel. Yes, we on hump day. We just slid down the uh, week towards the weekend. Isn't that a beautiful thing? That's a beautiful thing for those of us that still have to go out there and work for a living. <coughs> now, this young lady, <coughs> hey, <coughs> when Cat Williams was clowning her way back in the day, okay, <coughs> it was something. But now, she has done a lot of horrible things in her younger years of her living now take a look at her hair now i can say that color is, it looks real nice on her but this real blonde blonde that that look awful well they look awful because i'm talking about Tam uh tamarind hall she got her hair looking like that too but she had said something about she was auditioning for the paint you know uh, with Nico, y'all know that, um, what was it called? That, that was it. Uh, down in the valley where the girls get naked, P, P Valley. Yes, uh, that looks horrible as well. So, either she's being illuminated, or she done lost her mind and she needs some serious mental help. Okay? Don't take mental illness as a joke, people. It is very serious, and it's very debilitating for some people. But I'm like, okay, Will Smith was out for a while when he caught himself slapping Chris Rock. A lot of people said that was, you know, for show. It was planned, and it could have been. But look at Beyonce. Why is she doing that? Why? I mean, that one-eye symbolism. Hmm? Why is she doing that? Makes you go, hmm, now doesn't it? So, the gold hair, the one-eye symbolism in the industry. And she was acting kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, too. You remember when she got caught up in Atlanta one time around the weekend? She was um, riding around, and when the officer pulled her over, he felt she was drunk or high. Uh, this is what they reported. Like, she was wandering out there, but she was just driving in her car. And then there was an incident where she was at a baseball game, and some fan was just, like, hollering her name because she was starstruck or whatever, celebrity struck. And then, out the blue, she going to start hollering at the lady, saying her name. I think, what was her name she was hollering out? It wasn't Ashley. I can't, I can't recall the uh, lady's name she was hollering out that was hollering at her initially. But even her friends were trying to tell her to stop doing it. You know, that's crazy. It was crazy for her to do it. But it's absolutely asinine for you to do the same thing that lady did to you. You're going to have a headache. You, you, you know, you're hollering at the top of your lungs. And it's not a cute act. Child, I don't know if it's MK Ultra or something. But something's going on with this young lady. But <clears throat> that was just my astute type observation that I was giving out to you for those who understand they understand for those who don't mm, read about it okay research it but anyway we got New York Post is putting us out a story on Tiffany Haddish and a lot of people saying she's breaking her silence and I'm like well, what what can we you know you weren't acting right ever since Carmen left you and y you thought y'all were in a relationship which is kind of scary because it seems like he just go from woman to woman to woman. Yes, honey. Don't be the clean-up woman. Please, don't be the clean-up woman. But anyway, 
we have Erin Keller is taking us through a story or article she wrote up on Tiffany Haddish. And she was saying that, well, she put a title in there. Uh, Tiffany Haddish, I lost all my jobs because of child sexual abuse lawsuit. Well, you even admitted to it that it was very hard to watch it. And what y'all did, meaning you and Aries, what y'all meant for it, pure laughter, jokes, ha-ha, you know, just a comedy thing, it was in poor taste. What frame of mind you and him were in on, I don't know. But, yes, you should be counseled. You should be counseled. And hopefully, you know, if you're being illuminated, just like well, Will Smith, you know, he he ended up still keeping his Oscar, okay? And if it was in a real world with real rules and regulations, they would put him in jail. Okay, and he would have lost. He would have stripped of his Oscar winning and, and, and all that kind of stuff. They would have took everything. But he'd been out for like four or five months just walking on the earth and doing whatever he felt he like he wanted to do. He apologized here, there, and everywhere. And what is he now? He's getting ready to start up another movie career. So don't that just get your go? How people with money can do anything they want to do. They can control any type of situation they wish to. To point their narrative and for everybody to believe what they're saying. But, oh no, you got to have an open mind. You need to have very different outlooks on any type of subject. You got to look for what is not being shown. You see what I'm saying? Hidden in plain sight. Okay, but we're going to get on into this article. So I don't tear it a little too long. Um, Tiffany Haddish is uh, saying she don't have any jobs. Like Nene Leakes was out here saying she was blacklisted, blackballed. But once she done tied it up, whatever she had to tie it up with the uh, network that she was suing. Now we don't hear anything from her. Her Instagram account is just like whitewashed in a sense. It's just saying she's a TV personality. She's an actress. All this other stuff. But it don't have no remnants of what she was trying to tell us about her former employee doing her the way that they did do her. She's mom's. Mom's the word. Now, Tish, uh, Tiffany is coming out saying uh, she is now jobless. Thanks to the child molestation lawsuit filed and dismissed against her and Ari Spears. Well, why did it get dismissed, uh, Tiffany? You want to tell us that? Because we already seen the evidence, the photo, you know, the uh, picture that you wanted or the media got and put out on your behind, you and Aries, okay? It, it was in poor taste, and it shows a definite uh, picture or painted picture of what was being happened to these young children at the time course you was young as well you probably was ready to get into the acting field and maybe you wasn't thinking as well as you should have but it should have been an adult okay and if Aries was much older than you he should have known this was not gonna fare well unless this is a new thing that the masses want to be out there that you can mess with little kids is that what they trying to instill now is that what they trying to pony up and try to push it on us to make like it's a normal thing what do y'all think about that but anyway the 42 year old easter sunday star and what they got to do with easter sunday i tell you it's a lot going on it ain't cute and it ain't funny and it ain't legal Okay, what they're trying to do. But, like I said, keep your eyes open. Keep your ears listening. And keep your brain always wondering. Alright? But anyway, the 42-year-old Easter Sunday star was questioned by paparazzi at, uh, I guess, the LX airport on Wednesday about the situation after the news broke that the Jane Doe who alleged sexual misconduct against the comedians asked the judge to dismiss the case. Now she's trying to come out now. Now she was in hiding. Her and Aries both in a you know in a sense they were in hiding because they weren't saying anything. They weren't trying to bring attention to themselves. Okay. 
Uh, although Haddish and Spears' names are now legally in the clear, their reputations may continue to suffer. Something Haddish said she's already experienced. Well, now, really? Have you really experienced any hardship? Okay. All right. Going to back to the article. I lost everything. All my gigs gone. Everything gone. She answered when asked if she felt the suit would damage her public image. According to the video published by TMZ, the paparazzo tried to ask if Haddish felt she could somehow change the world's perception of herself through work projects to which she doubled down. I don't have no job, bro. Okay, for a person that's being a, a snooty and trying to be uh, funny acting, how would my mom used to say back in the day, uh, did you not do this to yourself? So why are you having an attitude towards everybody and we supposed to feel sorry for you because you have no jobs? All your uh, extra revenue streams have dried up like the Sahara Desert. We're supposed to feel some kind of way because you didn't fight the power that uh, that be against you. You wanted the, um, you or your attorney wanted the record sealed. You didn't want the photographs to get out. So why are you coming off on everyday folks? That's trying to make a living by getting the story, your side of the story. Okay? You're trying to fake the funk. And trying to feel like it's it wasn't your fault. It was somebody else's fault. No, it's time for you to take accountability. And if you go down, you just go down. Okay? Blame yourself and blame Aries. Alright? Uh, in the original suit, Spears and Haddish had been accused by Jane and her brother also unnamed of intentional infliction of emotional distress, gross negligence, sexual battery, sexual harassment, sexual abuse, abuse on a minor. And all of these are seem like to me are felony charges. So it seems like you also uh, got away from jail time, prison time, because these are felonies that are being thrown against you. But y'all just settled behind closed doors for an unexclosed, unexclosed, settlement amount and everything is sealed now does that have something like an elite hand into something tell me i want to know people i want to know what you think about this situation and we knew, do know she ain't been right ever since carmen dumped her mm-hmm now that's a beautiful picture of her very natural love the tone look at this like she's finna uh uh what you call it um uh, Act in a, a, a Marvel type film, you know, action su superhero type situation. And she had shaved off all her head. That is another symbolism that the elite go by. Mm -hmm. It's like a rebirth, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says uh, the lawsuit filed in late August also claimed that John Doe was groomed and molested by both defendants. Mm hmm. Haddish was also accused of neglect. Supervision, failure to warn, um, or neg neg ugh, negligent uh, supervision, failure to warn, breach of fiduciary duty, and constructive fraud. The lawsuit sought general and special damages as well as any appropriate statutory damages. But Jane changed her tune once that suit was dropped. My family and I have known Tiffany Haddish for many years, and we know now that she would never harm me or my brother or help anyone else do anything that could harm us. We wish Tiffany the best and are glad that we can all put this behind us, she said in a statement. Okay, both lawyers, uh, well, lawyers for the both comedians previously told the Post that their allegations were bogus and that their clients wouldn't fall for any shakedown. Haddish had also addressed a lawsuit in an Instagram statement saying she was unable to answer any questions on it but regretted acting in a video that Spears and John titled Through a Pedophilia's Eyes. So see, to me, it's like they're trying to start something in motion to, in a sense, try to make pedophilia a normal thing. You see, what I'm, you see where I'm going with it? You see how they're turning it? The wheels are churning and something big is going to be happening in our culture society that is not kosher, that is thought of, you know, like, what do you call it? Changing the, the, the dynamics of who and what we get down with when it comes to sexualization. Do you follow where I'm going with it, people? Do you follow what I'm going with it? But that's all I had to say about this story. 
is full of my four F's. The whole situation is foolish, it's fuckery, it's fakery, and it's fraudulent. And they're trying to put a wool over the American citizens' eyes. Okay? Now, if this can happen to these set of people, what can happen to another set of people? They're going to go hard with them and put them in jail and attach federal sentences to them for them to be served concurrently. So my whole thing is what really is going on not what happened but what is really going on what is the real story that needs to be told here regarding those cases and all that because if you're shaking down somebody meaning you're threatening them to do xyz for you or you just gonna come out with the goods isn't that bullying isn't that harassment isn't that blackmail y'all tell me tell me because i want to know if you're thinking differently than what I'm thinking, and why are you thinking that way? Show and prove. Show and prove, family. Get down in those comments and y'all let me know what y'all thought about Tiffany Haddish saying she's breaking her silence, but yet she's not saying a goddamn thing, okay, that we want to really listen to, that we can't even try to say, okay, well, maybe it was a setup. No, it wasn't a setup because she agreed to, yes, she did that. She acted in a film that dehumanized a young child. Okay. Mm hmm. What type of world and what type of rules and regulations we're going to be living in? Because if this can be swept under the rug, what else can be swept under the rug? Here they already done took uh, re uh, overturned Roe versus Wade. That means if shit, I get raped, God forbid, out there tomorrow. I ain't, well, that, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be no situation with that for me because all my, uh, baby making tools are gone out of my body, okay? So, but the, just the uh, ideal of rape, okay? And they already got the person that did it to me, and then they just said, well, that's a misdemeanor. Uh, he didn't really mean to rape you. He was just, you know, down on his look. Uh, he wasn't thinking at the time, but you didn't get hurt. You see, what I, we see what kind of stupidness thing we're going to, y'all. You see, everything that's bad is, is good. Everything that's good is bad. It's like the world is upside down. Whatever done above shall be done below. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Do y'all understand? Okay. But that's all I got for this video, guys. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.